Hey class, tonight we're going to look at graphing exponential functions. And in order to graph an exponential function, we need to know where the asymptote is located. We need to know if the graph is going to be increasing or decreasing, and we need to know the end behavior. So let's start off by taking a look at this exponen exponential function right here. get my calculator, actually my ruler out here. We're going to go ahead and graph this uh, by hand. So the first thing we want to do is make a table. This is actually a parent function. The reason why it's a parent function is because there's no transformations. There's no stretch or compression. Nothing is going on with the x. And so this is a parent function. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to pick some values for x. So let's pick some negative values and some positive values. Okay, let's plug them in and see what we get. So plugging negative 2 in for x, we get 3 to the negative 2 power, which we have learned is 1 ninth. 3 to the negative 1 one third, three to the zero power, which is one, three to the first power, three, three squared, nine. Okay, let's graph this. One of the things you can see already from the base that this is going to be an increasing function because the base is greater than one. Okay, so plotting our points, negative 2, 1 ninth, negative 1, 1 third, 0, 1, also known as our y-intercept. Notice that's found here in the very front in this, of this format, 1, 3, and 2, 9. Okay, so we're going to go along here, along the x-axis, and then it's going to curve up dramatically through those points. Always put arrows on the ends because since this is a function, an equation is going to continue on infinitely in both directions, left and right. Okay, so let's talk about the asymptote. So the asymptote is going to be right here where it's flattening out. And so to draw this asymptote, we draw asymptotes using dashed lines. Since we're really not going to be able to see it over the x-axis, I'm going to put my dashed lines out here on the edge. And so the equation for our asymptote is going to be y equals 0. Now to find the equation for your asymptote in your equation, all you need to do is look for your k value. Remember, your k value is on the end here. It's your constant. It translates the graph up and down. So since the k value is 0, then we have a, a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. So let's write that down. Horizontal asymptote y equals k. Remember that's the value on the end. Okay, we've already talked about this being increasing. We can tell that by looking at the base. We can also tell that by looking at the graph. Reading it from left to right, it's increasing. Let's talk about the end behavior. So we got a little something different here because what we've talked about is, is it approaching positive infinity or negative infinity? Well, if you look to the left of our graph, so going left, okay, so the notation that we need to learn going left is that x is approaching negative infinity. It's going left. So as we go left on the graph, what is the graph approaching? So as we go left, notice it's getting closer and closer and closer to zero. So that means that y is approaching 
zero on the left. It's approaching that horizontal asymptote. Going right, okay, if we're going right, we're going to be approaching positive infinity. And y is approaching positive infinity. Notice the upward arrow. And this is your end behavior. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at a transformation of this parent. So let's take this parent. Let's see. Let's um, give it a vertical stretch. Okay, we'll keep the base the same. We'll do a horizontal translation to the left, say five units, and we'll translate it down five units. And I don't like those numbers being the same. Let's translate it down six units. Okay, so if we were going to graph this by hand without a calculator, First thing we want to do is we would want to put in our parent table, which we did up here in the first example. So let's write those in. So at negative 2, we're at 1 ninth, negative 1, 1 third, and so on. Okay. So how is x affected? Well, it says here that it's translated 5 units to the left. So we're going to subtract 5 from each of our x values. So negative 2 minus 5, negative 1 minus 5, 0 minus 5, 1 minus 5, and 2 minus 5. Anything else happening to x? Nope. So these are our new x values. Okay, how about y? Well, it looks like we have a couple things going on here. I should use my ruler so it's nice and neat, but oh well. So we have a multiplier by 2. Remember we're following order of operations when we're on the outside. Multiplier by 2 and it's going down 6. And I think I'll go back to my ruler so that it's nice and neat and down 6. So to get my new y values, 1 ninth times 2 is 2 ninths. And then 2 ninths minus 6. A little bit more difficult to do. 2 ninths minus 6. Let me change this. So it looks like we're at approximately negative 5.8, approximately. One third times two is two thirds, two thirds minus six. We have two thirds minus six. For some reason, this is not wanting to work right. There we go. Negative 5.3. 1 times 2, 2 minus 6. 3 times 2, 6 minus 6. 9 times 2, 18 minus 6. And there's your new y values. Okay, let's make ourselves a graph. Now keep in mind when you're making your graph what your x values are and what your y values are so that way you kind of know how you you know give yourself some little extra room on the left and then we're going to be going down to about negative 6 and up to 12 we probably won't get up to 12 but
Okay. So plot on the points, negative 7, negative 5.8. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.8. Then negative 6, negative 5.3. Negative 5, negative 4. Negative 4, 0. And negative 3, 12. So we're way up here. 3, 6, 9, 12. You guys can't even see it so high up there. Okay, so notice where our asymptote is. Always look at your K value. So we have an asymptote, a horizontal asymptote at y equals negative 6. So we go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this is where our horizontal asymptote is. Notice the graph is getting real close to it. In this case, it's not going to cross it. Okay. And uh, what else? It's increasing, obviously. The base is greater than 1. Uh, end behavior. So let's take a look. As we go to the left, so as x approaches negative infinity, y is approaching, well, it's getting closer and closer to this asymptote. So it's approaching negative 6. Okay? It's not going to cross this line. As x approaches positive infinity, that means we're going to the right. If we look to the right, it's going up infinitely. Okay, and I believe I have covered everything. Graphing, asymptote, increasing or decreasing, and end behavior. We didn't see any decreasing, but a decreasing function is going to, we've covered this already, look like that and remember the base is going to be greater than zero but less than one in the equation hope you all are having a great night come tomorrow prepared with your questions